COVID-19 threatens all of us, every nation, every person. To respond with greater effectiveness, government ministries of health need to communicate directly, at scale, and in two directions with their frontline health workers. The good news is that health workers hold the solution in their hands. They just can't use it yet. Countries face a number of challenges. Frontline health workers can't get training when they can't travel. Additionally, it can be difficult for ministries to get timely information from all across the country. As a result, frontline health workers don't receive official information on preventing transmission of an emerging threat. In this context, misinformation and rumors spread, leading to fear and misunderstanding about the disease and mistrust of the government and the health response. Two-way communication between ministries of health and frontline health workers can help address challenges as they arise during a health crisis. For example, the ministry can request updates from hospital leaders on caseloads and get data back almost immediately. Ministries can query the knowledge of frontline health workers who can respond and get immediate feedback. Frontline health workers can initiate these exchanges with automated follow-up questions to get the details and even provide automated responses. Each of these cases are all programmed in advance and every exchange is logged for both immediate attention and later use. With two-way communication, frontline health workers do not feel cut off from their health leaders and the ministry has better situational awareness. mHero can provide that two-way communication. mHero connects health workers to ministries of health. mHero communicates information in both ways in real time, offering answers while the questions are still fresh. Once established, mHero strengthens both emergency and routine health communications. The Liberian government adopted mHero in 2015 and continues to sustain its use. They use it today for early case detection of COVID-19. The mHero platform is flexible, scalable, and sustainable by governments in low- and middle-income countries. So, how does it work? First, mHero is not a new technology. It's a new way to connect existing technologies. mHero works with IRIS, DHIS2, OpenMRS, and a number of other platforms already in use throughout low- and middle-income countries. These contain the data needed to select recipients, such as health workers, patients, and even the general public, to send them targeted messages, which inform, collect information, and respond to emergencies at the local level. mHero uses a global standard called FHIR, which helps these systems to talk with each other. mHero also works through existing communications platforms such as RapidPro for sending basic text and audio messages, and even private sector platforms such as Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. While it depends on the platform and the mobile phone type, mHero can send and receive texts, voice messages, pictures, and even movies. It can even switch the sender to a call center where live operators can help address the issue. Finally, mHero is being enhanced with natural language processing, a form of artificial intelligence that adds power to the instant question and answer process for automatically understanding complex situations and providing the best response. IntraHealth can work with national health ministries and other stakeholders. We can deploy mHero remotely with local teams. No international travel is needed. We can help ministries achieve the immediate power and benefits of mHero. For example, public health officers can communicate immediately with COVID-19 messaging. Let us tell you more by visiting our mHero website or contact us directly by email.